Hey guys, welcome to Austin and Ollie, and today we're going to be talking about how to make waterproof labels at home. So first you need to take your container and measure the width or the circumference as well as the height. So the height of this container is about two and a half inches, but I want the label to be about two. And then we're going to measure the circumference, which is roughly nine inches. But I don't want this label to, to wrap all the way around, so I'm going to make this one two inches in height by five inches in width. And then we're going to open up Canva, and I already have some labels made, so I'm just going to copy one that is the same size of what I already would like to use. So this label is uh, two by five, and I'm just going to edit it for the for the product that I need it to be. And if you would like me to show you how to make these labels from scratch, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will make a video on how to do that. So I'm just editing the title as well as the quantity uh, because my sugar scrubs are 11 and a half ounces in net weight. And then I just quickly Google uh, ounces to milliliters and throw that on the label as well. And then edit the directions. This, this is something that I really wish that I learned how to do sooner. I would have saved a lot of time and money. Um, and the best part is that you can use this with an inkjet printer. And I just don't, I don't want to purchase a laser printer. <laughs> um, so I already have my ingredients in my shop. Um, on the on the listing in my shop. So I'm just going to copy and paste those. Um, and if you would like me to show you how to uh, write out your ingredients list for your products, uh, whether they be skincare or whatever, um, just let me know in the comments and I can, I can make a video on that as well. So now we're just editing the title, getting everything to fit appropriately the way I like it on the label. And then we'll be good to print or save anyway. So I'm saving my design here. And then I open up a, a design that has a an 11.5 by an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And I'm just pasting in my label into that paper as many times as I can. And so what I'm going to do with this is print it out on sticker paper. Which again works on an inkjet paper or inkjet printer. So I saved that design. This is the sticker paper that I use. I just got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I load that into the printer. I'm gonna be making about three sheets of this. And then I click on the, um, the page in my photos, go to print, select the right printer, print out three. And while that is printing, I'm gonna show you the self seal laminating sheets that we're also going to be using. These are one-sided, I got them from Target. Um, and here it is printing out. So once it's all printed out, we're going to take our self sealing laminating sheet. And these are great, because then you can take off only the top portion, lay it down, and then you wanna take a ruler and just slide it right down and it, works seamlessly, you don't get any air bubbles, um, it, it's great. And then you wanna take a pair of scissors and just trim off the excess. And once that done, then you can um, then you can cut off all of the extra paper on your labels to get them sized accordingly. Um, this cutter just came with my Cricut, so I'm, I use that. But sometimes I use scissors, really, depending on the size of the label. If I have something smaller and more intricate, then I will just use scissors um, just so I don't mess up. But this one, I just find it quicker and easier to use the cutter. And there's our label. Yeah. 
So once we have the labels all cut out, then you can just peel off the back and adhere it to your container. And now we have a waterproof, oilproof label custom to our container size that we made at home. Hope you guys enjoyed.